Nowadays, the Russia does ecotourism bird watching trips, one week long or one day only, or even half a day if you prefer that. And the good thing is that all the profits generated by this service is 100% invested in nature conservation and environmental education run also by Arosha. So, you want to come in? We've started the Birds, Birds, Birds tours, really for people who want to see birds, and that's it. The lead back birding is for those who, besides doing some bird watching, they also want to have a little bit of a cultural experience. So they are taken to museums, uh, they have a little bit of time for sightseeing, for shopping around. Rather than spending eight to 12 hours out on the field, on average you could expect to spend five hours on the field. We arrange things so that people are picked up from the airport and then they are brought back to the center but uh, on the birds, 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 within two hours after landing, they immediately go out bird watching. So the first day you go to the Tavira salt pans. So here we are at, uh, at Santa Lucia salt pans, which is part of the Ria Formosa Natural Park. That's a place where we have usually a lot of waders. Uh, just today we probably saw something like 10 species of waders. Flamingos, we saw a lot of flamingos today. We have one guide, Guillaume, uh, he's French, he's a very good bird watcher. So that's the sardinian warbler we hear now. And it's been highly uh, recommended by several people who have uh, taken the trip saying that he's the best guide they've ever had. And he knows the names in English, in French, in Portuguese, in Latin. It's amazing, it's just amazing. We do pretty much the whole of the Algarve coast in the most important bird stop areas. We also go to the mountains. It's the only opportunity to see mountain birds. And then we also take one day in the plains, in the pseudo step of the Alentejo, where people watch the great bustard and the little bustard and all the raptors and uh, have the opportunity to taste another special food from Portugal. We promise to deliver 100 species, some of them quite iconic for Europe. That's a promise that so far we've never failed to deliver. We have two types of accommodation. Some, of course, is in our centre. We have two newly renovated rooms, but also we manage a, a villa up in the village. People can really expect to get to know a little bit more of Arosha, see science and conservation being done on site, but above all, to get to know the community, to enjoy great Portuguese cooking, and, uh, and really to have good fun, good rest, and lots and lots of interesting birds. We would love to have you with us.